Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle for the win and welcome back to a brand new series here on the channel. Today we are going to be playing the very beginning of the Shadows of Rose expansion for Resident Evil Village, which just came out last week, which is very, very exciting. Um, this is, I'm pretty sure it's right after the main, main story of the Resident Evil Village campaign. I played this game right when it came out last year. And it was phenomenal. Really, really, really enjoyed it. And I'm definitely excited to jump in here with Shadows of Rose and see where we go from here. I mean, I've been waiting for this expansion for a very, very long time. And I'm definitely very, very excited to jump into this. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get in here. So we are going to be playing it at the standard difficulty. I think I played the regular campaign in casual. I don't know how scary this is going to be since I haven't seen any gameplay of this, just some thumbnails on YouTube. Um, but either way, I'm very, very excited to play this, and this should, depending on how this series does, this should lead us right into the launch of God of War Ragnarok, which should be very, very interesting. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into this, and I will see you guys in there. Hey, Kay. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. I'm just enjoying the day. You said you had something important to tell me? I hope it's not about Chris wanting me to join his operation, because I already told him that's not happening. I see what he puts you and the rest of his hound wolf squad through. No, oh, thank you. It's not about that. It is about you. Me? I, I worry about you. How is, um, how are things at school? <laughs> Seriously, that's what you wanted to talk to me about? That group of mean girls still hassling you? You mean, are they still treating me like a freak? Hey! Uh-uh. Look at me. You are not a freak. I am. You know I am. That's why I keep my distance from everybody at school. If they knew what I really was. So, you don't have any friends that you can talk to? <laughs> talk to? About what? How I'm hardly even human? How I'm some kind of horrendous monster? <laughs> but, hey, it's okay. I hardly ever murder my friends. What if there were a way to get rid of your powers? I get rid of them in a heartbeat. All right, well, I think there's something I need to show you. We already know about Miranda and the mutamycete, how she researched it obsessively and performed experiments on human subject. Like me. Exactly. Uh, what you don't know is that we recently found some of her research. Apparently, she discovered a purifying crystal that can remove the mutamycete from its host. Purifying crystal? If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to weaken or remove your powers entirely. Are you kidding me? No, no, but her notes are incomplete. However, I think I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. Then let's do it, let's find it. Where is it? Uh, in there. What? That's a fragment of the Megamycete. It absorbs and stores memories from people who pass away in close proximity, including Miranda and everything she knows. If you enter its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, what do you mean enter its consciousness? Oh, so, okay, so you, your deep connection will allow you to explore the information within. That sounds crazy. You sound crazy. Yes, 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 Rose, but not dangerous, right? Think of it just like walking through somebody else's memories. You really think this can work? I think it's worth trying. What do you have to lose? Uh, how do I even do this? <laughs> Shit, I, I don't know. Try reaching out to it. See what happens. Okay. 
Fine. What the hell? Imagine wanting to be friends Ugh, she's with her. Definitely. Ew. Something just moved on her hand. What's wrong with her? Shut up! Yeah. It's like she's like she's like she's like freak. Something just moved on her hand. She's oh, wait. Freak. Oh, wait. Freak. Just disgusting. Please just stop! Still here? Kay. Kay? Where are you? Kay! This isn't right. Okay, here we go. So, looks like they are having us play in third person which is interesting i know that that was a big feature of this expansion basically was to play this in first person or third person so we'll go ahead and examine this real fast uh, miranda's research claims that the mega my seat preserves the, the memories of people who passed away within its area of influence absorbing them into its own vast consciousness we also know based on our previous encounters with the mold that people who are contaminated with the muta mice are connected in kind in a kind of mold network if we extra extrapolate from this week or extrapolate from this we can surmise that subjects with a strong affinity to the muta mice should be able to use the network to connect to memories of the dead within the mega mice should be possible to verify this theory using the lab's mega mice sample we collected 16 years ago we just need a suitable subject with a proven connection to the mold. Unfortunately, this presents a problem. Our organization's policies prevent us from directly contacting civilians who are infected with the mutamycete. Certainly, the ethical reasoning is understandable, but it has rendered the confirmation of this theory impossible. It pains me to think of how much mankind could stand to benefit from this preservation and indexing of human consciousness, the possibilities of preserving or even reclaiming great minds. Perhaps there's some way of cutting through the red tape interesting okay so let me back my mouse up here i remember from playing resident evil village the first time that the sensitivity on this is really really slow they probably even recommend playing this on controller i don't know but i guess we'll go ahead and leave this room if we can wait what okay get through the door we go Can't go through there. Let's look to our left. Can't go through there either. This kind of looks like the dungeons from the castle. Okay. What's going here? Anything? I'll be next. If I'm not quick, I need to get that crystal. Interesting. Kind of some stuff tying into the main campaign. Now, it's been a long time since I played the original camp, since I played Resident Evil Village originally, so I'm a little bit rusty on exactly everything that happened, but... Okay, anything to the left? Nope. Just... Well, it's not, it doesn't really look like blood. It just looks like whatever that is. Examine. It's a shoe. But whose shoe is that? Our Ethan's? I think that's his name. Ethan's shoe? I'm not sure. It's so gross. What is this? Okay, can't interact with it. Keep going through. 
Anything around? Let me out. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me. Can I? Is someone there? Dangerous here. What is? Why? Hang tight. I'm gonna see if I can find a key. Okay, find the key to the cell. I'm assuming it's probably down here. Actually, you know, before I do that, let me go back this way. Because I think this game does have point of no returns, so we probably should go back and take a look. See if there's a key back here for us. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny. Playing this game in third person is actually a little less freaky than playing it in first person. <laughs> not that... I mean, Resident Evil 8, I would say, was not quite as scary as Resident Evil 7. But definitely... First person adds to the fear, for sure. Okay. Now, I don't think I have a weapon of any kind. No. Don't have a weapon. Is there a key back here? Nope. Ooh, that is... Okay. I'm gonna say that looked like the thing that we can heal with, but I don't think it is. Okay. Okay. What about in here? Okay. Jeez, okay. I saw that thing moving over there. I was like, what the heck is that? Jeez. Ooh, newspaper. To create art, simply add it to the rabbit's carcasses. Decay is not an issue. Note, spruce them up with a bit of makeup. It makes them seem more alive. Okay. Journal. Oh, okay, cool. Um, the purifying crystal. Kay told me about the purifying crystal. That will let me finally get rid of these gross powers. He said I should be able to find something about it in his mega my seat. Things conscience. I guess I need to find Miranda's memories. I really don't get how any of this works, but at least it's not dangerous. I have to try. Okay, these are all the files we've found so far. Okay, awesome. So, I mean, I will say that this thing looks really incredible. I'm playing this on PC, of course, which you guys can obviously tell <laughs> that I'm playing this on PC. But definitely looks really good. Okay. I wonder why that let me examine that. Oh, it says Rose right there. What the? That's my name. Hmm. Okay. If you guys have ever played Resident Evil Village, or if you haven't, I should say, this probably makes absolutely zero sense to you. Oh, nice. There it is. Okay. Huh? Huh? What the hell is this stuff? Weird. Okay, tab to view key items. Crafting. Oh, we do, we can build, build, make one of these. Sweet. Wait, I guess we can't yet. Hold on. No, it says that we should. Uh, never mind. Yeah, this. I mean, we'll see how this expansion goes, but. I don't know if you need to play the original first to, you know, get enough context, but. Okay, view map. We need to go up here, I think. To our left. What was that? 
this stuff is oozing in a little bit more than it did before. Okay, let's see what happens here. Is she still in here? going on. I'm following her. Hopefully she doesn't get mad at me. Wait, wait up. Okay, probably went through here, I'm guessing. Yep, there she is. She go now. Oh, can't went this way. Oh yeah, this is definitely the dungeon from the castle in the original. Okay, we need to find an item. And the switch oh, handle's missing. Gone. Okay. Probably in here, I'm guessing. Yep, there it is. Oh, no, that's a letter. We need to find that handle quickly. Go deeper. Wait, hold on, but I can go up here. It's up here. Oh, that just takes me back. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, let's make sure that we go every way possible. Okay, can't go through there. Perfect. Gotta love it. Gotta love when things are, are linear for ya. of myself. So many bodies. What the heck? <laughs> oh god. Oh, they Did must really Oh god. Oh, she must be infected by something. Sweet. There's the or infected by this thing. Is there a candy to grab? No. Okay. Let's go through here again. Unlock that door. And we are back in. Oh crap. What? Oh, <laughs> 
We gotta go this way. Switch handle. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh my gosh, it's taking forever. It's taking forever. Oh my gosh. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, okay, keep going. Go, 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 go. Go right. Seems like she's afraid of to use her powers, which does make sense. But she might learn that she needs to use them. Go 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 go! Okay, I think we're good now. Are we safe? I think so. Although we have to go into here now. Not until I get this out of my body. There's a crystal here that will remove the mold. I, I need to find it. And I'm not leaving until I do. Who are you? M my guardian angel? Do you have a name? If you're an angel, then... Gabriel? Michael? Okay. Michael? What now? Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll... Follow the strange being. Go ahead and save the game real fast. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and check out what's around here in our in this room. Doesn't look like anything, just a save. But this is the castle, which we spent a lot of time in in, in the main game. Although it's dark this time. Ooh, perfect. Sweet. Do I need to use this? I don't want to use it. We have plenty of health. These poor things. Another. Oh, you 
lively now, aren't you? You should have put that effort into running. It would have made the chase that much more thrilling. Uh, let me go! Let me go! It would seem this little rabbit lacks the necessary fortitude. Uh. A pity. You had shown a little grit and actually escaped. That purifying crystal would now be yours. The crystal? <gasps> Who's this? <laughs> oh, now we have a new little rabbit to pursue. Let's see how fast this one is. Find her! Hunt her down! Oh, great. Okay. More running. More running. I don't know what that flower is, but we're skipping it. Crap. Oh! Crapping at my legs! Get out the way! Get out the way! Keep going. Oh, no. Go, go, go. Thank God. A way out. Shit! What now? Mm. Um. I guess I go back. Go. I wonder who this Michael character is. It's gonna help us throughout the throughout the game. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for my very first episode of the Shadows of Rose expansion. Hopefully, you guys really enjoyed it. So far, I've had a really great time, and I'm definitely excited to see how this story unfolds as we go through it. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this very very first episode of Lightning, is definitely appreciated, especially because this is kind of a I wouldn't say a risk, but it's definitely different from Call of Duty and seeing support on a campaign walkthrough video like this definitely means a lot and shows, you know, your interest in this type of series. Um, but anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, I think it was appreciated. Go check out any of my other previous videos. I will leave them all linked down below in the, in the description. I was watching the previous episode. will also be at the end of the week that check out as well. I'll see you guys all on another episode of my Shadows of Rose expansion very, very soon.